everybody! All right, so today we're gonna be taking a look at my own 3D printed bay. I originally had a 3D printed bay developed by the talented Crazy Aries. Uh, the issues with uh, the old one was, other than the fact I couldn't find it, uh, the print of plastic that I actually did on it uh, was not too good in the paint job I did on it unfortunately wasn't that good. So that was all faults of me. Crazy Aries did an amazing job on the thing I thought you know, I need to update it. So I contacted my good friend Quake and Bacon and he was able to actually help me out work it We even talked months ahead of time on what type of driver to use and it's really thanks to him and his talents that I was able to actually get this created so i'm gonna urge all of you please give quake and bacon some love he has actually helped me in the, some thumbnails for some videos he's done amazing drawings uh for thumbnails he also has his own channel where he showcases his own 3d print base and he also has his cool little comic series that he's doing and i want to just say this please give him some love and let's try to get him past 1500 subs i think we can do it subscribe to quake and Bacon for making awesome 3d print bay and please 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 i urge all of you do not spam quake asking for a 3d printed bay he only made it for me because we're obviously close friends please do not spam him and yeah all right so to talk about this 3d printed bay as described by quake this is not a gt bay it is kind of a similar concept to the system of Beyblade Burst GT, but it's not the same thing. So this is called Quake. This is a Quake. I asked Quake, what, what, do you want, what do you want me to say? So basically how it works is the part that fits on the disc, which is this part, is called a switch frame. And the part that acts normal like a layer that fits inside is called the layer key. So that's the top part. So layer key switch frame this is the switch frame system so how it works is very different from gt so i'm going to show you so i'm actually going to twist this out with a little bit of force so look at that yo look at it so wacky so really cool and the coolest part about this thing is no metal i did not want metal on my 3d printed bay for the simple reason that i find it quite stupid to put so much metal on a bay Considering the fact that, you know, it's obvious that the bay with a, a, an enormous amount of metal is just going to destroy everything. And that takes away the fun with 3D printed bays. So my thing, my bay, does not have any metal on it. It's all plastic, which means, you know, it comes with a lot of power still. And I'm going to explain to you why it comes with a lot of power. The design, you know, I actually wanted like sort of like an attack type bay, but uh, even though I have the hybrid driver, I didn't, uh, we, we agreed like, you know, I kind of want an attacker, right? So the way you designed it, you could say it's very similar to Flash Sagittario, I guess, or Prime Apocalypse in a way, kind of in the shape. I'm really just trying to go for crazy attacks. And the cool thing about it is that, first of all, this bay can still burst, but it's super difficult to burst it because there is actually molded, I'm pretty sure I asked, there is actually molded, it's kind of hard to see, you can get, yeah, you can kind of see it right there, a little stopper there, so I actually technically kind of have like a burst stopper there. You can still burst this bay, it's just gonna be a little bit difficult, like sort of like when you have Lord Spriggan at the start. So, this bay is called Made in Heaven. So I actually really love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and of course, if you don't want spoilers, technically this bay is kind of like a spoiler in itself, but, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna put like a timestamp probably in the description so if you don't want spoilers, just skip to this point. So to basically explain, in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure in Part 6 of Stone Ocean, Poochie, who is a Stan user, has seen Moon change into Made in Heaven. Made in Heaven is a really cool Stan. Basically, with, with me dumbing it down quite a bit, I'll probably have an image of the manga that explains a lot better than I can resets the universe constantly the whole point was he was trying to basically follow Dio's orders and i just thought it'd be really cool to have the hybrid driver or even i actually thought of ignition but ignition was too 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 much too much and hybrid's a lot better than ignition basically I have a driver sort of like a driver that spins kind of like almost infinitely to kind of go in the same sense of the standability of made in heaven all right so by the way, I was, this is like a little bit of a side thing. I was actually gonna originally call it like Gorilla Fist, but that's how we do it here. And by the way, subscribe to Quake. Anyways, uh, moving on. All right, 
let's get started. So first, let's do a test launch. Yeah, it's a cl classic hybrid. Oh, there you go. There's the ability activate. Actually, it looks really cool when it's spinning. Now, I actually was thinking about, I might do an update after where I just uh, print it again. Let's do Chosy Spriggan around Extend Plus left. Come on, get it! Show it up against right now. Come on. That was a big hit, man. Continue with it. Oh, I did it. I did it. And look at that. The, those stoppers were completely out. Okay. Next up on the line is going to be a regular bay. Prime Apocalypse. Infinite Lock versus Made in Heaven. Come on. Ah, it seems you were a second too late, Apocalypse, because now you're going to lose badly to Made in Heaven. Well, you know, I, I can stand there too. Oh, look <laughs> how Made in Heaven. It's still hella powerful though. All right. Oh my God, did you see that jump? That is the true ability of Made in Heaven. It is extremely durable. Go, Made in Heaven, destroy Prime Apocalypse. If, if you can, you know, if you can. What's gonna happen? <laughs> no way, no, no way. Next up is going to be Regalia Genesis Ignition Dash. Woo! Regalia is probably going to win that one, but Regalia has one weakness. It's easy to burst. My bay? Huh. You saw it. Regalia, you're going to go down. Ooh, it did like a regalia scream and it pushed me back. To be fair, actually, was super close in that round. That was a big hit. Oh, and that's my bay. That's my bay. Okay, okay. Woo! Yeah. Regalia is the only kind of like worthy opponent so far. And defeated. So let's do Imperial Odin Ultimate Mode, Double O Cross Unite Dash against my 3D print. This combo is our next challenge. Let's have it. It's a competitive combo. The paint job on, it's kind of going down. Only because of the battles, obviously. Oh, Alright, next up, this time I think we can actually go normal. We're gonna do, I think, double O wall bearing. No, no, just a zero wall bearing tech longness. With so wait, not really competitive, kind of, just like a kind of like a decent combo, I guess, for tact. Yeah, I really struggle against lefts, so this was kind of like my thing is to make sure I can actually at least kind of almost beat lefts. All right, this one will just be a normal bay, Venom Diabolos. Is it going to be instant death? There we go. There we go. Oh god. Wait, no, 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 no. Ah! Uh, judgment. Oh 
I mean, to be fair with Judgment, you know, Judgment's not really all that... Well, my babe versus Judgment Joker, you know, because, like, Joker's, like... Stock Joker especially is just garbage. So, again, nothing really too hype if I can beat this right away, but... Look, man. Please, burst it! I'm begging you now! Stop! There we go! I thought I was gonna torment. Yo, Joker just got like tormented. Jeez, my god, man. My god. It's kind of like twitching there. Hey, relax, buddy. Alright, next up will be Imperial. Uh, no, actually, this will be uh, Lord Dragon with the Imperial Trip. Uh, zero Cross Extend Plus. This one will actually just be one match. That would have been a knockout. That really would have been a knockout. So this, obviously, Lord is kind of invincible at the start, but since uh, I am using, actually, a start Lord, it should probably be Lord, actually, but if my bay can win, that'd be great. Yeah, Xen Plus. Kind of how class is hybrid, I would say, just a wee bit, but I believe in uh, the power of my bay. All right, Maiden. Maiden Heaven with a crazy attack. Oh, I didn't beat it, but watch this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, sick. All right, next up, a uh, Slash Valkyrie. Uh, the other combo I used was competitive. This class Valkyrie is not good at all, so I, I know I'm getting hyped over nothing, but you know, I, I still gotta get hyped, man. That is made in heaven. I'll, I'll even give Valkyrie the advantage, watch. Right now, I'm gonna give Valkyrie such a huge advantage, watch. I'm gonna give it five more seconds. Do you see who won that one still? I won that one. You see, my bay is almost unbeatable. Now, we're gonna get Lord Spriggan and left rotation. That'll be our final boss for this video. Can three print stop Lord on left? Lord is not invincible, by the way. Just saying. Probably gonna actually spin seal over me, but Oh my god. Okay, this is our last battle for the video. I'm, yeah, actually, I'll do one more after this, but... Holy crud. Knocked out Spriggan and went after it. Okay, I hit the wall there. I hit the wall there. No, no, no. We, got, we gotta give it, like, a good finale. No, it's Spriggan! Ah! Hold on, I'm gonna give it one more shot. Don't mess with it! Spriggan, you disappoint me. Actually, Spriggan's not even at 100% attack, hold on. Oh my god, you see the jump it just did against my bay? How dare you, Spriggan? Oh my god, the sick jumps in this video. Oh, Spriggan, I'm sorry. I can't let you get away beating my bay. Sorry. Okay, we just had a we, we just had a kind of like vibe check Spriggan there. So I will give Spriggan one last trick. I give Spriggan one last chance. I, I keep on hitting the wall. Ah! Spriggan, you're not getting any more wall saves. I'm sorry. You know what? Next round, you're going down. You're going down. No, no, it's kind of doing that thing where. Whoa!
Lord's done. I didn't burst Lord in this video. Maybe a sequel. Uh, let's just do our last match. No, we gotta. We gotta. Hold on. It's like the ultimate test. It's so I can verify the space good. Okay, okay, okay. We could beat Hasbro's Rock Dragon. Rock Dragon's pretty tough. Wanted to make sure. Anyways, all jokes aside, Quick and Make did an amazing job with this spade. This spade's a freaking beast. Yes, he didn't win 100%, but most of the time, killed it. Killed it, killed it. Tell me what battles you want to see with Made in Heaven. Uh, I might switch the ignition. Tell me if you want me to stay with hybrid. I probably will stay with hybrid. Maybe some other videos I might switch the ignition. I don't know. Super excited to see how this does against other bays in the future, but man, is it a killer. So please subscribe to Quake, get it past 1,500 subs, and that'll be it for now. So thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.